Hello everyone. Welcome to AVLSI lab number three. Today's topic is about common gate single stage integrated amplifier. So here is the circuit given to us. This is our NMOS transistor M1. Uh, we have a resistor RD connected to the VDD. We have a resistor RS, which is internal source resistance for V in. V in amplitude is two millivolt peak to peak at five kilohertz. And the biasing voltage for M1 transistor is given as VGG equal to 1.2 volt. Now for this conditions, we have to, uh, you know, determine the gain, calculate the gain by theoretical formulas and also verify the gain by simulation. So with respect to this, we have been given certain parameters. So the value of KP is given as, so these are the model parameters for transistor M1. KP is given as 10 micro, L is five micrometer, W is 10 micrometer, lambda is 0 0.04, gamma is taken, has to be taken as 0.4 and VTO is 0.7. VDD is 5 volt and VGG is 1.2. That was already made very clear from the circuit diagram. Okay. So let us see the procedure, what we need to do initially. So we need to apply the DC biasing VGG to the gate of M1 and the sinusoidal input V in of 2 millivolt 5 kilohertz to the source terminal of M1 via the register RS. Okay. So initially you have to connect the value of RS as 10 ohms. Then using the dot op statement, we note down the values of ID, VGS, VDS, VBS, GM, GMB, and verify them via formula. Then after noting it down, comment the dot op statement and use the dot trans statement to plot V in of T and V out of T. Then using the dot measure statement, we need to note down your V in peak to peak, V out peak to peak, and your voltage gain AV. Also, you need to verify the voltage gain AV using the formula. Then we have to repeat the steps one to five for different values of RD, right? Actually, for different values of RD only, right? And then here comes the observation table. So for lambda equal to 0 0.04 for M1, uh, for different values of RD. Now, what are the values of RD you have to take? 870 kilo ohms, 1 mega ohms, and 1.2 mega ohms. For these three readings, note down the value of V out peak to peak from simulation, note down the value of voltage gain by simulation and also note down the value of voltage gain by calculation. So here I'm showing you the sample calculation for 920 kilo ohms. Okay, so I will tell you by the end of this video how we got these numbers. So let us begin. So first of all, we will set up the circuit in LT spice. So let me just minimize this and open the LT spice window for your reference. Yeah, so what I have done is I've already connected the, you know, more or less the components over here which are required for this experiment. So let me show it to you once. Yeah. So we have made the basic structure of common gate amplifier. Registers can be easily be added over here. Uh, voltages also from the library, you have to just type voltage over here and the voltage terminal will appear. I mean, the voltage symbol will appear. And then we have to add NMOS 4. Okay, remember to add NMOS 4. So I've already done that. And given the value of RAD as 920 kilo ohms, RS as 10 ohms, uh, V in as uh, 2 millivolt peak to peak, 5, 5 kilohertz frequency. So, yeah, here you see amplitude. This is the peak value. 1 millivolt is the peak value. Uh, we want 2 millivolts peak to peak. So, here it is 1 millivolt is sufficient. VGG value is 1.2 volt given to the gate terminal. The body terminal is connected to ground. So your VSB is not equal to zero for this case. The M1 transistor is suffering from body effect. So you rename uh, and VDD is five volt given. So now we'll build up on this. Uh, rename this M1 as M1 underscore your name. So I'm naming it like this. And then uh, we also can add V in and V out. We'll add it later. But uh, yeah, so we have to add the dot model statement and add these parameters which are given over here. Right. So I'll right click, go to draft, go to spice directive, and here I'll start writing dot model and MOS one. And MOS one is the name I have given over here. And the reserve word and MOS bracket KP will be equal to 10 micro. Then uh, L is around 5 micrometer. So 5 micrometer. W is how much? Uh, 10 micrometer. W is 10 micrometer. 
then we have lambda is 0.04 so lambda is equal to 0.04 gamma is equal to 0.4 i guess we are getting gamma equal to 0.4 and vto value the threshold voltage is 0.7 to be given okay and we press enter and paste it onto the schematic so these are the model parameters which we have been given in the numerical statement okay and vgg and vdd has already given as 1.2 and pi volt now what we have to do is now we have to note down the dc parameters so to note it down we have to click on simulate click on run and then click on dc operating point and then again click on okay the moment you do that a screen will appear you close the screen go to view go to spice error log okay so once you go to spice error log it will give you the all the mosfet transistor parameters we have named it m1 right m1 underscore the name so from here we can copy these parameters and paste it onto the schematic screen so i can right click or i can do control c from your keyboard to copy these parameters and then i'll paste it onto the schematic so i'll again go to draft comment add these parameters and pasted it like this okay so the id value vgs value vds value all the values are coming for the m1 transistor okay so your yeah, gmb's value also is coming i hope you know what is gmb gmb is coming up because of the body effect and its value is quite small okay so uh, let us continue further so now after noting these values down what we have to do is we have to verify these values by formula right so let me just uh, slightly reduce it and then let me maximize this part and the calculation part i will also keep it ready okay so first we'll go to calculation so here are the equations which are given for uh, the common gate amplifier shown above this common gate amplifier its expression is given to you so its voltage gain av of a common gate amplifier is given by there is no negative sign gm plus gmb into ro plus 1 the whole into rd divided by ro plus rs plus rd plus gm plus gmb into ro rs okay that's the formula for voltage gain uh, then the drain current id is equal to half mu n cox w by l vgs minus vt at uh, vt the whole square into 1 plus lambda vds then we have the gm formula as square root of twice mu n cox w by l into id into 1 plus lambda vds this is the formula for gm and then we have the ro formula 1 plus lambda vds upon lambda id that's the exact formula we will use this and gmb is actually gm into eta where eta will be equal to gamma divided by twice square root of mod of twice pi f plus vsb so these are the various formulas which we have to use i'll keep it on to the screen you all can take a print screen of it okay and later on we using all these formulas we have to calculate and verify the voltage gain okay so let us begin with our work so all these are simulated values which we have got kn value is 10 micro actually that is given in the dot model statement then lambda one is also 0.04 uh, actually we should have written over here gamma also gamma is 0.0 uh you know gamma is how much 0.4 actually okay and uh, then vth1 is uh, around 1 stands for your m1 transistor right vth is 0.7 it's coming correctly and then we have the value of vgs vgs is 1.2 volt vds is 2.47 i'm writing the simulated values then vbs is minus 2.75 into 10 to the minus 5 here we have got vsb1 is 2.75 into 10 to the minus 5 that is one and the same then gm1 is around uh, you know 11 uh, gm1 is around 11 micro and 11 micro ampere per volt gmb1 is 2.84 into 10 to the minus 6 that is 2.84 micro ampere per volt and gds1 it's 1 into 10 to the minus 7 so ro1 will be 1 upon gds1 and that is coming out to be 10 mega ohm okay and now we see the calculations one by one let me just maximize this part now okay so first calculation is of id1 so for id1 vgs value lambda value vds value is given i mean we have got the values of vds and vgs so id1 by calculation is coming out to be 2.747 uh, 
and what's the simulated value 2.7 pi yeah so it's giving approximated so yeah it's correct 2.747 is the simulated value uh, is the uh, calculated value and 2.75 is the simulated value very close then next we calculate gm1 so gm1 is square root of twice mu and c ox w by l of 1 id1 into 1 plus lambda1 vds1 so over here all the values are available vds1 we just got it from simulated result id1 value we have just calculated it you plug it in the formula and the value of gm1 come out to be came out to be 10.998 microampere per volt let us see how much is the simulated value simulated value of gm is 11 micro and we are getting by calculation 10.998 which is approximately equal to 11 microamperes okay so that is fairly correct next we calculate uh, eta so eta value is gamma, uh, gamma divided by twice square root of twice phi f plus vsb and twice phi f value we have to consider it to be 0.6 okay it was given in the procedure no it's okay but twice phi f value consider it to be 0.6 VSB1 value is 2.75 into 10 is to minus 5. So plug in the values in a calculator, you will get eta value as 0 0.2582. Okay. And uh, we already know the value of GM1. So GMB1 will be eta times GM1, which will be 10.998 into 10 is to minus 6 into 0 0.2582. So GM1 is coming out to be 2.8396 microampere per volt. Okay. So that's the value of GMB. Let's see what's the value uh, simulated. So GMB1, uh, GMB by simulation is 2.84 uh, micro and by calculation is 2.8396. So that's fairly close. Okay. So RO1, RO1 is 1 plus lambda 1 VDS1 divided by lambda 1 into ID1. So lambda value 0 0.04, VDS is 2.47, ID1 is 2.747 micro. Plug in the values. And in a calculator, you will get R one as 10 mega ohms. Okay. So this is GDS one, one upon GDS one will give you R one, which is 10 mega ohms only. So this is how you verify all your DC and your small signal parameters. Now, next thing is to calculate the gain. So for that, we have to do certain adjustments over here. So we have to label this node as V in underscore the name. So I've labeled it over here. Similarly, the output node. Now for the output node, we have to connect a capacitor over here because at the drain terminal, you have DC as well as AC value. So that's why I'm connecting a capacitor over here just to get the DC value or the isolate the uh, AC from DC. This value, I can give it as 10 microfarad and uh, this will be V out underscore the name. V out underscore the name, right? And now we are ready to simulate. So for that, we have to comment out the dot op. So we are commenting out the dot op. And now if you go and simulate, click on run. Stop the time, you can give it as 0 0.08 milliseconds. Time to save data will be 0 0.02, you can give. And maximum time step, you can give it as 0 0.01 millisecond. Okay. So click on OK. You will get a, a you know, a blank screen, right? And here we have to plot the input and output. So I'll right click over here, click on add trace and plot V in first. So V in, as you can see, it's two millivolt. Uh, okay, fine. Let me just uh, give it around 0.8 milliseconds. Sorry, it was very small, 0.8 milliseconds it should be. Yeah, so after doing that, we are getting 0.8 milliseconds and also the time to start saving data, let it be zero only. Yeah, so now it will be proper, right? And uh, also I can change this to a little smaller value. Let's say 0.5 milliseconds so that I can fit less number of cycles and I can have more clarity, yes. So this is my input, as you can see, two millivolt peak to peak. Now I'll plot the output. So add trace, V out. So as you can see, V out is coming, this blue color curve, and input and output are in phase with each other. And that's the way it is for a common gate amplifier. So this is my uh, you know output waveform, and we are getting an amplification, right? Now we have to check how much amplification we are getting. So one technique is by a cursor technique. We can place this point over here measure this value 
and divided by the input. So rather than that will be inaccurate little bit slightly. So to get an accurate value, we have to write the dot measure statements. So to do that, right click, go to draft, go to your spice directive and start writing the statement. So uh, here we can write dot measure v in, we can write peak v in, and uh, then we can write V in peak to peak, and what's the V in V in label we have given? V in underscore the name. Okay, so dot measure it will store the uh, you know value in V in peak to peak value V in right underscore the name. Then again go to the next statement dot measure V out peak to peak. What's the V out label we have to write? V of that label name. V out underscore the name, and then in the next statement we'll write dot measure gain we want to save the result in gain so gain and we'll write param v out divided by v in and we click on okay and we add the statement onto the screen now these three statements will directly give you the v out v in value and the gain value also it will calculate so let us try that let me go to simulate click on run and we are getting the same graph that's fine you again go to simulation I mean the schematic, click on view, click on spice error log. So once you click on spice error log, you will get this value of gain. Okay. So this is the value of gain, which you're getting around 11.895. Yeah, let me check it. Okay. So the value of uh, gain is coming out to be 11.6895. Okay, where V out value is 23.36 millivolt and V out value is coming out to be 11.6895. We can copy this out and paste it onto the schematic. We'll go to right click, graph, comment and add that comment section over here. Okay, so the gain by simulation is coming out to be 11.6895 and it is a positive sign because input and output are in phase with each other. Now let's go and check out the calculated gain. So we have already found out the values of GM1, GM B1, RO1, uh, RD is given to us, RS is given. So plug in the values over here, you will get a denominator term and a numerator term. So if you divide that, you will get the gain as 11.658. Okay, so that's the theoretical gain which we are getting after calculation. Fine. Now let's go to the observation table. So in the observation table, you find this that uh, for a sample reading of 920 kilo ohms, the V out value came out to be 23.36 millivolt. The gain by simulation is coming out to be 11.689 and gain by calculation is coming out to be 11.658. Okay, so that's very close. And uh, you have to complete this for RD value equal to 870 kilo ohms, 1 mega ohms and 1.2 mega ohms only. No need to include this sample calculation. This is just for your reference. Okay. So this is the way we can calculate the DC parameters, the small signal parameters and a voltage gain of an integrated circuit common gain amplifier. Okay. So yeah, kindly record your observations and kindly perform all the calculations in a calculator and verify the values via simulation. Okay. So I think that will be all for this session. Next time we will start with a new experiment. So until then, have a good day and thank you.